Mahari. It's my great pleasure to welcome all of you on behalf of the Educational Research Institute to welcome you in Poland in also. I'm happy that you have so many distinguished guests. Uh, calling my introduction uh, an opening speech is uh, a little bit of exaggeration. I, I know that there's it, it, there are hardly more boring things like welcome speech, opening speech, so I will try to keep it shortly and just give a kind of warming up for, for the discussion, which is the, the head of the meetings today. Uh, national qualification framework and the in, in, inclusion of non-formal qualifications into the framework is something, as all of you, you know, uh, creates one of the main areas of activity of the Educational Research Institute. Uh, it means that we, as the Research Institute, conduct a lot of projects. Out of them, the so-called MQFIN is one of the most important. And why is it, that, is it like this? Uh, the models of including non-formal qualifications into the, into the systems is something which might sound, might sound a little instrumental. If you look from the side, from outside of the <coughs> project, on what you are doing, the first impression, impression might, might be that this is something rather more technical. But when, you, when, you, when one thinks more about the role of these models in national qualification <coughs> frameworks, the, the importance of this, uh, of this issue uh, gains uh, in the eyes of every observer. Uh, why I think that models are really important? Uh, I will give you one example of the discussions we have now at, at the Institute, the discussions we have with decision makers who are the main target group of the, uh, of the project we are working on. Uh, we, we are now discussing mostly the, the question which I'm sure you are discussing as well, and that's why your work is so important for, not only for us. It's a question of uh, selection of the qualifications. Which qualifications should be included? And going further, how the mechanism of including qualifications should be created to support inclusion of given qualification and maybe not hinder or block others, but to prioritize between different qualifications. And this is something which is not, uh, which cannot be avoided. So always when we include qualifications, uh, we include some of them, and some of them are not included yet, or not at all. And we can find different approaches how to solve this question. One of them is, of course, we leave it to the market, we leave it to the market players, we respond to their needs, they apply, they include the qualifications, and we just create the models who are open enough to give the opportunity to every market player to describe and then include a given qualification. But as I understand, the goal of your project is first to support decision makers in creating national qualifications from the point of view of inclusion models. But from the point of view of decision makers, a very important question arises is how to meet the social needs and how to create a system which responds, responds to social needs. What do I mean by, that, by this? I mean mostly that we should keep in mind that not only the needs and the interests of market players should be met by creating open inclusion models, but also the inclusion models should enable for the inclusion of qualifications which are socially needed. So, qualifications which from a strategic point of view of a development of our countries, of the European Union, of Europe, are needed to reach the, the goals we have set ourselves as countries, as, as the continent, uh, and to meet, uh, to respond to challenges of the challenging situation. We all hear very often about the uh, competences of the future, the, ch the changing labor market, the vanishing, comp uh, vanishing qualifications and uh, vanishing professions which will be replaced by 
by other maps. This all creates a horizon of challenges, of needs, which have to be met by creating appropriate social, political, institutional mechanisms. The mechanism should respond not only to the needs of marketplace, the mechanism should, should make it possible to meet the strategic goals which are needed to, to be prepared for the future, however pathetic it, it sounds. And one of the mechanisms to ensure this uh, compatibility between market needs and social needs, strategic needs of our countries, are exactly the inclusion models. When I went to your report on, on your website, I've seen that you are aware of many of the social challenges and social uh, goals which the inclusion models have to meet. That's why uh, I, I'm, I'm very happy that this project is taking place, that uh, Educational Research Institute can be a part of it, and that we can meet here for the whole day to discuss these things. I wish you a very fruitful discussion, a very fruitful time, both in this room and in Warsaw during informal meetings and discussion. And uh, have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.